Good morning, folks. We're looking at an active region on the sun with an anchor point for large plasma filaments instead of sunspots. As we come to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star with that active region turning through amidst coronal holes around it, towards the end of the sequence, the filament at the active region does surge. It produced no ejections and only a tiny nudge to the solar flaring X-rays, but should show how volatile those filaments can be. There was no significant solar wind events and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. Solar wind from the departing coronal hole should be at Earth within only about 24 hours. First up here, Mount Etna in Italy. Not an enormous eruption, but another activity phase for sure as smoke and ash rain back down onto parts of Sicily. The weather in the Americas continues a frigid onslaught of record snow and record cold temperatures. And speaking of temperatures, the global climate report for January is out. Looks a good bit like both sides there, but they're calling it the third warmest January ever. Up next, we go to the sun and eruptions like the Titanic September 2017 blast, which are now visible to our detectors in radio waves. This should help forecasters determine CME arrival times, their strength, and estimate proton stream limits hours in advance. On a smaller scale note of solar eruptions, more confined events like the tadpole loop and jet ejection are an excellent capture for IRIS and SDO working together. I would suggest they find the instances where these catch an umbral loop and ride around it. Up next, we're looking at an artist's impression of what citizen science bounty has found in space. Shifting luminosity and shape and polarization, and likely due to an odd perspective on a dusty star ring system, they say. Problem is that dusty rings are features of new stars, forming planets, not ancient ones that have nova which they are seeing here. Last but not least, we are looking at the detection of dust and gas halos around galaxies, visible in ways we never knew were possible, and which are challenging the galactic formation and likely the galactic rotation problems that use dark matter particles to explain them. No need if there is an accretion of dusty plasma that our detectors just can't see. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.